Hey, it's Dave with FlipperForce, and this is a quick tutorial on how to add expenses to the Expense Tracker. The Expense Tracker tool is used to track your actual project expenses for your project. The Expense Tracker is where you'll track your purchase expense, your buying, holding, selling, and financing expenses, as well as your repair expenses. Let's start by adding an expense to the Expense Tracker and then we'll discuss the different ways you can categorize and organize your expenses. To add an expense, click the green Add Item button in the upper right hand corner. Once you click the green Add button, a pop-up window will open to add an expense item. The first item is the date, which is generally going to be today's date, but it can also either be the date that the expense was invoiced or the date that the expense was deposited. Then you will want to input a description of the expense. Our first expense that we want to add will be our purchase expense. So I'm just going to input a brief description here which says the purchase amount that was paid for the property. Next you will want to select an account which tracks your expenses by accounts such as your bank account, your checking account, your credit card, or maybe an expense reimbursement account. If you don't have any account set up yet, you will be prompted to add a new account. We paid for the property out of our Chase checking account, so we will add that as a new account to our system. One thing to note is that accounts are stored universally, so our Chase checking account will be available for all other future projects in the system as well. Next, we need to select the vendor that was paid. The vendor is going to be the contractor or supplier or individual that was paid for the goods or services. We bought this property as a foreclosure from Wells Fargo, so I'm going to add Wells Fargo as a vendor to the system. Vendors are also stored universally, so if you need to manage, add, edit, or delete any of your vendors, click over on the vendors dashboard, which can be found on the sidebar, or by clicking the person icon along the top nav bar. Next you can select a category which is used to categorize your expenses as purchase expenses, buying, holding, selling, or financing expenses, or as repair expenses. This expense was for the purchase of the property, so I'm going to select purchase price from the drop down menu. And finally, the last classification is the expense class which designates the expense as either labor, material, or other. The final entry amount is the expense dollar amount, which is the amount that you paid for the goods or services. Once you have everything categorized and classified, you can click Save Item, which will add the item to your expense tracker. If you ever need to change the expense in the future, you can change the account, vendor, category or amount directly in the expense tracker. Now when the expenses start to pile up in the expense tracker you can use our sort functionality to help find expenses and sort expenses by date, by account, by vendor, or by category. Once you get all of your expenses uploaded these values will feed over to the project budgeter based upon the categories that you've selected. You can then compare your actual amount spent to date with your initial budget and then forecast your project costs. You can also use our expense reports to provide printer friendly and shareable reports that you can share with your business partners, investors, lenders, and accountants. If you have any additional questions about adding expenses, shoot us a message in chat or send us an email. 